Revelation chapters 4 and 5 speak of heavenly creatures and angels that are camped around the throne of God night and day non-stop saying holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty and worthy is the Lamb. I think when we come together corporately as the church to sing songs and put melody to those eternal words we're living out worship. My name is Curtis Parks and I'm a worship leader based in Washington DC. Worship is that moment where we can actively engage in the presence of God and we can express maybe in song what we can't in our own words. Whether it's joy, pain, or thankfulness, worship is the soundtrack to our conversation with our Heavenly Father. I've had a lot of interesting conversations throughout the years where people have said, in times of worship, I feel so close to my Heavenly Father. I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. In Isaiah 43, it actually talks about how we were designed to declare the praises of God. I have a little girl, her name is Nora, and she's not yet two. When she was born, my wife and I gave her a life verse. It's Matthew 21, 16, and it's where Jesus says, out of the mouth of infants, I have prepared praise. We're designed to worship. And as a worship leader, I come alive in seeing people do what they were designed to do. There is none like you, for you stand alone. My philosophy in life is pretty simple. Love God, love people, and write songs that show it. So whether I'm here in Washington, D.C. at my home church, National Community Church, or if I'm traveling and sharing with different ministries around the country, uh, that's my passion, is to write and sing songs that show the love of God and show His love for His people. Let's lift our hands in this place. Let the love